All right, guys. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Mordekaiser top lane in Season 12. So, what you want to be running right now is Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Elastant, Second Wind, and then also the Revitalize. What we also have is a D Shield up against the Yorick matchup. Now, I must tell you guys, though, like this is going to be a pretty challenging game because we actually got magic resist as the um, you know as our bonus stats into a yorick which is kind of terrible but i thought i was playing against a vladimir so but yeah i'm pretty sure we're going to be fine regardless we just have to play it super flawlessly trying to like sidestep the uh yorick abilities most of the time as long as we can sidestep we're going to be fine against them like good thing we're playing like a like an absolute like Amazing lane bully. So we shouldn't drop it too much. Oh, I've got a push up against him. If he tries to move up right now, he's going to have a bad time. Ooh, I actually, if I land that one, I would have actually had him level two right away. Close, I'd say. They've got an Elise in the jungle, so we definitely have to be very careful with how we approach. Yeah, as you can see, like, Yorick is going to do a lot of damage. is because I've got the wrong, like, bonus stats against him. So, yeah, we're going to have to be very careful. Like, literally, we get hit once and... Yeah, like that. Ooh, chase him down. There are so many people who don't expect the, 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 the cheese at all. People don't really know about, like, Mordekaiser's Q that much. People think you just get hit by a Mordekaiser Q, but they forget that if the target is, like, a solo target, the is gonna do more damage. That's what most people don't know. Or usually they, they just don't think about it. Get out, play, buddy. I'm sorry, dude. I'm playing Mordekaiser. <laughs> if I hit a solo target, I'm going to do more damage, dude. Alright. So, first things first, we're going to buy a Dark Seal because we want to stack up my... Um, we want to stack up for kills. Um, secondly, we're going to go for this into this. I'll TP2. Here we go. I must dig the so once again, we're gonna um, we're gonna get the wave back into our favor. Good thing is that we got like, oh, kidding. This is a big problem. The fact that we have the the, the bonus stats is just wrong. Yorick does a lot, a lot of damage if he hits his ability. And it's also pretty hard for us to even sidestep in the first place. We actually need to have, like, um, at least terrible boots to sidestep. Hopefully we don't miss the cannon. Good thing we got a red buff, so we're all good. It's all fine. It's not really moving up. Staying pretty far away. Gotta be careful because he's got his ability. Okay, now we're about to reach level 6. So this is where we turn around. Force that lands. At least we're <laughs> gathering gold if he does that. Got the wave, like, stacking up massively, so good luck to him. He's not going to do m much to me right now. And now you relax. Now we're chilling. As long as the wave is, like, stacked up, there's absolutely nothing he can do.
the wave is like completely stacked so if we go back to base right now we can come back with an extra item and he's gonna be forced to stay you see he's gonna farm down this wave we're gonna go back to base we're buying the 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 leeching leer we even go for this one for um i'm not gonna do it there you go Like, sometimes with Mordekaiser, you can actually go for the, the Blasting Wound. But I don't like rushing it because Leeching Lair gives sustain and HP and, and AP at the same time. It's more worth. A uh, quick question. Did Elise use Flash? Uh, yes, yeah, she did. She flashed this way. This direction. Let's place a ward. And now we'll just keep the wave for what it is. Gotta be relaxing, chilling around. Let's see what he does. Right. Nice. So yeah, we're, we're definitely freezing this. Like, the thing is, the longer we hold this wave right now, the better. If he walks back, he's gonna lose, like, at least, like, two waves. We just want to deny him farm. And as soon as he comes back, I don't think I'm going to even bother like trying to fight him. I think I'll just let the wave crash into the tower so I can reset. So I don't need to take like any damage. We went for Mercs. Yeah, of course. He lands that stuff. Yorick is always an annoying champion if you play Mordekaiser. Because if you don't sidestep this thing, it's just like some ridiculous damage. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can kill him right now. At least killing on Drake. So I'm absolutely not worried. Let's see if he's willing to throw it. If he comes close to me, I'm going to E him. You see how he's playing it? Like, he's standing super far away from me to the point. He's not even farming. He's not even getting the XP anymore. He's just hitting the, the ability and then just walking back. Look how he's playing it. And then once again, we win like another like round right here. Wave management because this wave is going to force into the tower. We're going to reset, get my item, and then we start freezing the wave again. So it's becoming, um, it's slowly becoming harder and harder for him right now. Let's walk back. By the way, Merc Mercenary Mac. Hey, thank you so much for the sub, man. You're following and then immediately subbing right after. Thanks, man. That's really awesome. Okay, watch this. The wave is in a really good position. We're going to be looking for fights right now. Yeah, we're chilling. Let's see what he does. Totally not worried at all. This guy is totally done. What a place of ward down low. Make sure to clean up these things real quick. It's okay if... Yeah, we lens that one. That's fine. And now we simply hold the wave. Like, this guy needs to move up. If he doesn't move up right now, he's going to lose another massive wave. Oop, he's standing really far away. He's looking for my ward right now. Okay. He's popping his ultimate out. Interesting.
did not expect he would like throw out his ultimate. I thought he was going to keep it for a long time. <laughs> There you go. Good thing about Mordecaster is that you can also heal back everything with your W. We now have about a 40 CS advantage already. Unfortunately, we don't have any plates, but that will be fixed soon. Nice. Let's get plates. Here we go. Nice. Did get the wave. Apparently we're getting ganked by Elise here. <laughs> She's walking back. Alright. Goodbye, dude. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was quite an interesting experience. She didn't even bother like trying to walk up anymore. <laughs> oh by the way if you guys hear like anything in the background it's probably my dog he's like playing at the moment with toys and stuff okay Yeah, I'm just not trying. We're definitely stronger than him. Pretty boring lane though. We kill like twice and then he basically always walks away. We never, we can't really kill him like ever because he's like standing way too far away. Wait, what? She keeps trying? I was reset. I'll get my TP. I'm gonna get my item and then I'll TP, I mean. Alright. There we go. Let's get this one. I'm gonna go Mercs. My next item will definitely be Mercs because they have like a full AP team. Um, except from ADC. Let's move up. There we go. He still has only a Fage and Mercs. He doesn't have more. Oh, close. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I wish I could get more kills than him. Don't worry so much about the HP. Like we can heal up anyway, so that's not really a problem. We've got enough sustain. So we'll get back to full health. I'm going to force next wave. I'm not going to bother too much on getting the tower right now. Maybe we could try killing Yorick as he walks back. Or he's actually way faster than I thought. Like, I kind of want to start roaming, but at the same time, I don't want to leave him like this. Let's see what he does. We've got like a 50 CS difference. Kind of, it's so unfortunate I haven't been able to kill him yet. <laughs> so unfortunate, man. He's just playing it so safe. Oh, he's going for it. Well, we got him. There we go. It's about time that he finally moves up. And he actually did it for a tower. Okay, it was not even a first tower. So, it's not worth for him. Because... 
he might get the tower, but instead we gain his tower right now. We can just take it for free. You see? There we go. Um, in fact, I could even take it later and make sure to crash the wave like on the tower first. So he even loses all of it. And now we can walk towards it. You see? And now we got it. Now before we go back to base, I think I'm just going to see if I can get a few more jungle camps. So I can be a little efficient. Because I don't want to back yet. I can get my record of over sure, but I want to see if I can get more. Nice. I've got my TP in like 5 seconds, so we can start making a huge play soon. Probably even right now. One for free. Maybe we can kill Morgana too. Close. Let's ult her. I want to make sure I, I survive in some way. Hmm. Probably not much we can do. She's chasing us down though. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I didn't press R on that one, I might have possibly even died. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, this Yorick just plays it safe all the time. We have like his... You know, he's playing so safe, we got like a 60 CS difference, which is just massive. We need like 700 gold more to get my Nasus dude right now. He's not even staying for this? I'm like I'm like super low HP, but he's not interested. <laughs> oh, I missed Ganon. Whoops. Alright, let's go back. Mm. All right, here we go. Yeah, he's got Hole Breaker, and he's got the, he's got the Herald, of course. He's probably gonna try and spawn it. Not spawning. He's going mid lane instead. He's taking the jungle camps. Yeah, he's taking the jungle camps. Hello there. He's got no ultimate because it's in the. It's like in the. Uh, since we're like talking about like another dimension here, his ultimate doesn't go through. So if he presses R, if I press my own ultimate into his R, like he's going to miss it. It's going to be like a free kill for me, especially if I go for like Nash's dude. Yeah, this is like one of the beauties about the matchup. If you just ult in the right time, when he's got his ultimate activated, <laughs> you just kick him like into another universe. And he's like absolutely useless. Nice. Let's go down to the red buff. I've got my TP back in like 35 again.
walk back. TP in 24. I'm going to see if I can kill a Yorick again. <laughs> Man, the dog is like in hyper mood at the moment playing with toys. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Hmm. I don't think he's going to fight me. I'll see you back from it. We could probably end up killing him. Oh man. <laughs> she even managed to close the door. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. It's actually the first time I see her like closing the door on herself right now. <laughs> I don't know how she managed to pull it off, man. Oh, she lives? Oh. Oh. Ah, are you kidding? She actually lives. She had like 50 HP or something. Yeah, upgrading this is no point. I was on us. They got like three Drakes right now. So unfortunate, like we're having a really good time against Yorick, but unfortunately we can't like maintain the pressure at the moment. And it's because these guys all the, the enemies have like constant pressure the whole time. We have to look into like closing the game early because they have a flatty mirror which is going to become OP. Nice, let's go next wave. Got my TP ready and set. I hope that there's going to be... Uh, I hope that my team is going to group up at some point. It's a long time for them to group, actually. I really want them to group right now. That would be perfect. Let's see if I can flank. I think it probably have a lot of vision. Got him. Got oh, yeah, the shield came just a second too late. <laughs> Yeah, that Morgana like kept me like host hostage in, in that one forever, man. I was hoping I could get the timing perfect on Morgana's shield, but it it actually disappeared after I used my I'll go for a stopwatch first. Meanwhile, top lane. <laughs> There's like one, one team fight, and what do we have? We got a Yorick like splitting top lane. Feels bad, man. Oh, he's actually going for it. Yeah, of course, he's going for it. Top push. Yeah, this one time we 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 group mid lane, we force a five, we die for it. Yorick is just insta like pushing top, and he's actually getting away with it. Unbelievable. All breaker Yorick. Oh, 
Wow, unbelievable. That actually worked. Incredible. <laughs> Can't believe it. Massive team fight, not worth keeping for. Nope. I think one solution this game would have been just like one proper grouping and that would have been enough. But it, uh, the first time it, they actually went grouping is like 25 minutes. These guys are already like scaling up as you can notice. They might even finish. Uh, yep. That's game. This is one of the saddest Mo <laughs> Mordekaiser games I've played in a while, actually. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. This is such a weird Mordekaiser game. I can't really describe it. Really, really good laning phase. Everything was perfect, but just no progress in the mid lane game. This is the weirdest game I've played in a while, man. Ugh. Don't know what to say. Either way, guys, this is Mordekaiser Top. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.